Hey everyone, I thought I would voice over this video. Wow, really cool, pretty cool. Um, I usually, I love adding the classical music, but I don't like being copyright claimed for it, so I thought I'd just go with this, why not? Um, so this is a, a little painting that I did for my friend Natalie, because it was her birthday, and she uses the username Snornet, because she's a big Snorlax fan. And she has a big Snorlax beanbag in her home, which I respect deeply. Um, so I thought I'd paint her with a little Snorlax. So as you can see in the top, there's my little picture. This was just the, when I thought of it, I, I made this drawing. And so I'm using that as a reference. And uh, you can't really see, but I've penciled out the drawing on the paper and I'm just adding Snorlax's lovely dark um, muddy green. He will take shape. He will take shape and you're gonna be in awe. In awe of his big body. Because <laughs> it is beautiful. Let's be real, Snorlax is an inspiration. And his big body reminds me that life is full of of beautiful, big, chunky, cushiony things. <laughs> um, so I'm adding Natalie's hair in. Here it comes. Nice. Um, yeah, this was kind of a small painting. Um, I actually usually work really small when I'm drawing, but when I'm painting, I, I'll just use an A4 piece of paper usually, because they're around, they're easy, they're like a very standard size. But for this one, I had a um, photo frame that I wanted to fill with this painting. It's not a six by four, it's a bigger one. It's a, a se seven by, se uh, you know what? I don't actually remember the size, but it's a, it's one of the bigger photo frames. <laughs> um, yeah, so here I am. I went to I went to paint her skin, and then I realized, oh, wait, that's more of a Snorlax's face kind of color. So I'll use it for Snorlax instead because it's kind of yellowy toned. Um, so I got to fill in Snorlax's beautiful skin with that. Very nice. <laughs> uh, and I gave her a nice red top, a nice kind of peachy red. Um, Cool, good, real nice. You know, I always use masking tape around the edges of my paintings and I always, always without fail, uh, rip off some of the paper. That's just a part of my process now. But I do wonder how uh, people paint with masking tape and they're not ripping things. Um, why am I ripping things? What's the deal? Is there a secret that I don't know? Is there a masking tape secret? I do make it like unsticky uh, or less sticky by like I put the masking tape on my leg usually a few times before I actually use it for this purpose just to make it less less of a harsh stickiness but I still have the ripping of the paper problem. It doesn't really bother me too much. I can live with it. It's fine. Um, um, I would, I would call myself a messy artist, and <laughs> so I'm, I'm okay with ripping things, you know, it happens, but I just, I wonder, I wonder, maybe I should look this up, is there a masking tape tutorial on YouTube? I'm sure there is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look that up later. Actually, I've been looking up, um, like, home painting and, uh, plastering tutorials and I found this Canadian guy and I love him so much. <laughs> he just explains like how best to paint things and uh, he's a funny little goofy little man. Uh, YouTube's great, isn't it? You find you can find a goofy man anywhere. Anyway, so I thought I gotta add a nice colourful background. I went with this blue. Um, I feel like... If I change anything, maybe I'd give the background a bit more depth, because I did just pretty much go for a flat blue. Um, it could be a bit more interesting, it could have a bit more, you know, maybe a 
darker blue around the edge, or like a slightly greenish darker tint around the edge. Something like that would be nice. But uh, all the colors coming together, and of course I gotta do these edges, try to be super neat. Um, Snorlax's form has to be well represented. It has to be perfect. You gotta make Snorlax look real good. Otherwise he'll come for you. Otherwise he'll he'll get you. Look at my face. <laughs> I'm not used to seeing the side of my face, so... That's kind of strange. Like, oh, there she is. Alright. Okay. What's she thinking? She's thinking about Snorlax. Look at my mouth. Okay, I'm not gonna... <laughs> don't actually, don't look at me. Only look at Snorlax. <laughs> uh, whenever I'm filming a uh, painting time-lapse video, I want to avoid my face being in there. I feel like it's kind of weird when you could see me, you can see the focus on my on my face. Um, but for this one, I, I just was so close to it uh, that my face is unavoidably there. Oh, there's a <clears throat> there's a moth flying around me. Get out of here! Get out of here, moth! What you doing? Uh, that was very distracting. <laughs> um. Yeah. So here it is coming together. It's coming along. I'm just getting the getting the details painted in there around all all of the edges and now you can see that natalie has legs great congrats natalie you you did it you have legs <laughs> uh what am i gonna do next am i gonna paint her skirt yes i am Ooh, it's yellow it's yellow real good real nice i look mad i look mad <laughs> my normal face <laughs> yeah, a nice, a nice yellow red combo. Yeah, real good. Very sunny, very sunny colors. Very nice. Very, very good. I, I am pro the colors I chose. <laughs> a great job, me. You did it. And now. Skin time for Natalie. What a weird sentence that was. Um, yeah, I wanted to, I wanted to get a bit more pink toned than the Snorlax skin, skin. Um, so I'm I'm mixing. I'm mixing. I'm figuring it out. Do I have it? Looks like I got it. There we go. Yeah, like a lighter, a lighter and slightly more pink toned. It looks so white on the uh, camera though. Look at how white that looks, but <laughs> yeah, it was just a very gentle, um, light. Hey, you can see it. You can see it there. You can see it. So she's, she's coming alive. She's coming alive. She looks good. She's happening. She's here. <laughs> Man, I gotta talk for 14 minutes. I can't believe this. This is why I usually just slap on some cat classical music and move on with my life. But you know what? It's okay. I gotta do this. I gotta do it. Um, yeah. I left, you know, the spacing in this is interesting because it's so over to the left. Um, I, I'm not great at getting things in the right kind of space in my mind, but I had some text to add, so I figured that's okay. We can put the text to the right, give it a bit more balance later. Um, yeah, and Snorlax face here. Now that really adds. Now now you've seen it all, all work out, all come together. Snorlax is blissful, of course. Um, and I'm adding Snorlax's little claws here. Very A very tiny detail, so... Tough but necessary. Oh no, I'm yawning. I'm so sorry. <sighs> Don't yawn. Do not yawn. Don't do it. 
Yeah, and smoothing out Snorlax's bod. Snorlax's beautiful body. Oh, Snorlax. When will you embrace me? When, Snorlax? When? Hmm. Yeah, just getting... Just perfecting that Snorlax. Just perfecting his body. Loving him. Making him perfect. Making him the best Snorlax he can be. <laughs> getting those shapes right. Oh, look at him. I'm proud of the Snorlax. He's a, he's a good man. He's a good man. <laughs> he's great. Uh oh. Oh, yawning again. I won't stop. I'm just gonna yawn. That's just part of my thing. And I wanted to give a little bit of dimension to Natalie's hair. So, a little bit of lighter brown to kind of define it. Mmm, nice. There we go. There we go. What's next? Well, hearts. That's right. The love enters the picture. This is also how I balance out the composition a little bit. Put some hearts there. There we go. There we go. That's real nice. So now you you know. They love each other. They love each other so much. They just... Ooh, they just love each other, don't they? There we go. And then <laughs> added the text in. <laughs> it's um it's beautiful. It's it's not wonky at all. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's beautiful. <laughs> oh god. Oh no, I can't stop yawning. Okay. I d I did wake up recently, so I guess that's the reason, but um yawning is my passion. Really, that's the truth about me. So just lining that text again. Looking pretty good. And we just need details. So some of the details I added in later with a pen. Because they're very small. But I did try a little bit here to, to paint on Natalie's face. Um... Uh, the brush was a bit too wet, so <laughs> mouth didn't quite work out there. But that's okay. Just fix that right up. No mouth. She can never speak. So sad. So tragic. <laughs> so there it is. Basically finished before I add um, the post painting details. Those are my palette. Um. And here's the, let's take the masking tape off moment, real nice. I wanted really, really thin edges for this so that, you know, when I put it in the photo frame, you wouldn't see them. Um, but they also, you know, they look nice. Ooh, well, it didn't work out so great. Of course, with a thinner edge, um, it's easier to get paint across the edge when it's so um, small. But hey, it looks fine. It's still, you know, no matter what, when I take masking tape off the edges of paintings, it looks nice. It looks good. It just always looks nicer than fully painting over the edges, I feel. Just always works out in some way. It just gives it like a nice little professional edge, even uh, with imperfections, as you can see in the top left, especially. Looks good. So, and there's the finished one, um, and there's me. Yeah. Got it. Did it. Love you, Natalie. <laughs> Yay.